why isn't my house selling? Well, I'll give you three reasons why. And that's what we're talking about today. And we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking that button down below and even that little bell for notification because I talk about all kinds of cool stuff Las Vegas related and you don't want to miss out on it. So what are the top three reasons why your house isn't selling? There's no reason, at least not in this current market, that a home in a great condition and in a desirable area shouldn't sell. However, there are three common reasons that homes don't sell. And one of those reasons could just be the solution to your problem. Number one, your home is overpriced. The most common reason why a home sits on the market is because it is overpriced. Asking too much for a home could be the result of ignoring your real estate agent's pricing advice, or an error on your real estate agent, or the market corrected and your agent did not notice. Regardless of the reason why, you will need to drop your price as soon as possible to renew interest and to get your home sold. In a nutshell, homes sell for what buyers are willing to pay, and not what a seller is hoping to get. The only way to know what a buyer is willing to pay for in a home is to get the prices of homes that have sold in the last six months that are like yours, not of prices of active listings. If it's less than what you're currently asking, I urge you to really, I mean, really drop the price. Uh, the price reduction may be just the key to get more buyers through the door and thus selling your home. Number two, your home needs work. We've noticed that homes that sell the fastest are priced right and they're in good condition. So what do I mean by good condition? Well, the outside has great curb appeal, the exterior reflects pride of ownership, meaning that the trim is painted and the stucco is in great condition and the landscaping is tidy. Inside the paint is fresh, the carpets are clean, and the house is neat and decluttered. The buyer has the impression that he or she can move in right away and not have to work to make the home livable. Number three, you have a lousy real estate agent. Your real estate agent's job is to market your home and hire a professional photographer. If it's priced right and in good condition, the next reason your home is not selling is because your real estate agent is failing and failing hard at the marketing game. Get with your agent and find out what is being done to market your home. If the only thing they're doing is putting a sign in front of your house and listing it in the MLS, then it may be time for you to get a new agent. It's a lesson that many homeowners learn the hard way. Never hire a real estate agent that does not have a powerful marketing plan. If you follow steps number one and two and you're convinced that your real estate agent is doing a stellar job, then you may need to ask yourself if you're more flexible in showing the home. We know that the worst part of selling your home is having to keep it in model-like condition despite life's continuing events like kids and pets and everything else in between. But buyers work too and oftentimes they are only available to look at your house in the evenings or on the weekends. Bottom line is this, even in good sellers markets there are slow periods so if you've done everything you can do to ensure that your home is very competitive, just relax and give it some time. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning all things real estate in the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.